The cooling system basically comprises of antifreeze and water. To start with, we need to know what type of antifreeze a particular car takes. As you can see, I've got a wide array of antifreeze here. This particular car takes regular ethanol glycol or the regular green antifreeze, which is why I chose this. This right here is a good starting point for the cooling system in this car. If I was to mix the Toyota or the Mopar or the Havoline with it, I could create more damage by simply adding the wrong fluid to the cooling system than it would be worth. Common problems first and foremost is a leak. Okay, if we see coolant on the ground or if we take this cap off and the fluid level is low, the cooling system cannot be as effective as it should be. If I take this off and the cooling system is full, now we've got another problem. Most likely that will either be in the cooling fan, which is critically important, especially in stop and go traffic or places of low airflow. Uh, at highway speeds, cooling fan, not so important, but especially at lower speeds, stop and go traffic, city driving, cooling fan is critical. If the cooling fan is operational, then we need to start looking at why we're overheating. Okay, that could be as simple as a thermostat, which is stuck closed, and it's creating too much heat buildup in the engine, which would be indicated by a very hot upper radiator hose and a very cold lower radiator hose. That indicates the coolant is not flowing. If the coolant is flowing through there, it can be a much more serious condition going on with a problem with the engine, cylinder heads, or something mechanical.